Much. Well, there's been more development in El Paso, and you add the decline of the prairie dog populations, and the Texas Parks and Wildlife says it means fewer burrowing owls. Yeah, the birds heavily depend on underground animals in their habitat. News Channel Line's Susie Castillo reports on how one team is helping the owls. Perched burrowing owls, hard to spot the 10 inch tall birds among their habitat at the Rio Bosque wetlands. Luis Belin and her team start setting up the traps before sunset. They check the burrows no baby. about every half hour. The first thing we always do is cover any wild animal. It calms them down. This time, they catch an adult female. So this is D38. She's already banded with an identification number. 67 grams. Belen checks her weight. She's pretty thin. She'll fly back to the home Belen and her team have created. In El Paso, there's so much urbanization, there's so much development that the desert is being developed at a very, very rapid rate, which means they're keep losing more and more of their natural habitat. As the owls have less options to call their home, it's artificial nest sites like these that give them a place to live and raise their young. I'm experimenting with different designs for artificial nest sites um, in hopes of finding the perfect design that I can teach other people to use and make. It's just really rewarding knowing that the owls like use the habitats that we spend so much time on. After sunset, they catch more owls. Oh my God, they're so small. These little guys are what the team has been waiting for. So this is a fledgling. So they can place tracking bands on the babies. And it doesn't hurt the owl at all, and they get used to it right away. They are given two numbered bands, including a federal band in case the birds fly out of the region. And sometimes we're out here like for hours and Sometimes there's been times where we're here from like 3 p.m. and we don't leave till like midnight. Long nights that help keep the burrowing owls thriving. But I can tell these are doing pretty good. Susie Castillo, News Channel 9. And those owls are currently listed as a bird of national conservation concern by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service.